<laughs> we're, we're gonna figure it out What's up everybody <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> welcome to the co-founders pod everybody we're, we're now the co-founders we've yeah we've done a little name change yeah it's not a the first one was a little too aggressive and we we listened to the advice of several people yeah and we decided that it would be a good thing going forward to have a more uh accurate name maybe more accurate more inclusive more more inclusive and harsh but at the same time we're still being tongue-in-cheek yeah (laughs) (laughs) we're not giving that up no so we're still true to who we are yeah yeah exactly um so we have we have a bigger audience now thanks to one podcast episode in particular um (laughs) so we want to keep everyone entertained and we want to see what we can do so if you're a new listener and you were in the legion or regnum christie and you haven't been interviewed yet and you want to be interviewed reach out to one of us reach out to james spencer or jacob and we'll set you up with a date and it's it's a really easy process we don't have any requirements other than you be yourself <laughs> um yes yeah, so that's that's all i got to say for this week i'm with you i think that's about it i mean we're we're here to talk to everyone and we want everyone to be comfortable talking with us so we're looking to um obviously the three of us have the legionary past as our kind of like thing that unites us but if you know somebody who had a traumatic religious upbringing in general and wants to talk about it or has, you know, maybe um, maybe they were with Mother Teresa's group or I don't know, just anybody who kind of had something crazy like this happen in their lives and they want to share their experience, hit us up. It'd be cool to explore that. Yeah, we're, we're down for exploring, ultimately. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dora the Explorer is out Dora here. Dora the Explorer out here. Yeah. Hey, folks. Dora the Explorer here. Um, there was. So I'm. I'm sorry. I'm distracted. I'm looking through my letters. Uh, oh, here it is. I found a really interesting letter that I think has some subtext to it that we, or that has context to it now that we didn't have at the time. Sure. Um. I don't want to read the whole letter because it's very boring. I'm not, I wasn't good at writing letters. <laughs> However, my handwriting was atrocious. Who are you uh, writing to? My family. Oh, okay. Yeah. This letter, these Sunday. are letters home. Letters home part two. Yeah. Um, uh, so this was September 18th, 2005. And uh, I talk about classes boring mount cannon (laughs) fun um but there's one paragraph where i read i was like oh this is really interesting Uh, tell me what you think about this Mm. we also had adoration yesterday because father alvaro lc had a special intention he didn't tell us what it was we have adoration again today also so i this is 2005. Oh boy. Father Alvaro had a special intention and he wouldn't tell us what it was. That do, do is concerning. Think, do you think this is when he found out about the child? Yeah, probably, dude. Damn. That's so crazy that it's just like I, I decided when did to the Maciel that. news come out? Was that 2009? That was 2000. Well, that was when it was going to come out. And then the Legion preempted the newspapers by announcing it Mm. um but they knew since at least 2006 but maybe 2005 right who knows and we don't i mean we don't really know because father alvaro's rest in peace um but Mm. i i really think that this special intention was (laughs) was about maciel well Um, and to be honest the adoration didn't do much to stop anything no it didn't help <laughs> jesus was up in heaven listening to the prayers like nah 
<laughs> it's nah, too man, late. I gotta, I gotta, he's, he's got to be exposed. <laughs> yeah, just, just wait on this one, guys. <laughs> but isn't that funny though? That's that's the answer that we that Father Alvaro came up with. Yeah, just Let's pray, pray it. about it, and now that'll, that'll solve it. Yeah, um, I'm not gonna tell anyone. Theme. Just pray about it. <laughs> um, It'll go away. I also. Yeah. I also think the next paragraph was kind of interesting. Well, not interesting at all, but I said on the 15th, the benefact- benefactors came and Father Ban and LC came. We got classes off. We had two and a half hour long recreation time. So that was a pretty cool day, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Two and a half hours of recreation is pretty cool. And Father Bannon came. So that must have been a fun day. Mm. Rest in peace. <laughs> I like how in these letters, whenever I refer to anyone, I say like brother Kevin LC. I like it too. Probably I was Bannon thinking LC. that. Yeah. Can't forget the LC. James Benvanga ALC. Yeah. Did you put, was it a capital A or was it a tiny little A? It's a tiny little A. Yeah. Um, we were <laughs> and I and then the you're a PCLC, right? We're PCLC. And then yeah. CLC and then LC. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's why I stuck with it so long. I was like, I just want to be LC. <laughs> <laughs> Got to make it all the way through. Yeah. I want to get those initials off. Uh, yeah. And I ended with PS. I need some cash, please. So even back then I was begging for money maybe we should put our cash app on the podcast just in case people get <laughs> to feeling generous <laughs> yeah throw in your venmo <laughs> buy us a beer yeah a lot of free content out there that y'all haven't been paying for <laughs> for being honest <laughs> switch over to patreon i mean we do this because we love it but you know money wouldn't hurt yeah switch to patreon yeah <laughs> That's part think, of the co-founders thing is now we're switching to Patreon. Yep. Now we have a full Patreon. hundred dollars an episode. We're going to OnlyFans soon. <laughs> um, There's this girl on TikTok who does OnlyPans and she only makes like pans. horny jokes as she's cooking she's food. Hilarious. It's pretty funny. Oh, you know who I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah. She cracks me up. She's pretty cute. That's too. really funny. Yeah, she's fun. Yeah, we, yeah. we like wholesome jokes on this podcast now. Wholesome. Wholesome shit. <laughs> wholesome shit. <laughs> now that we're the co-founders now we've that we're lost our edge <laughs> we've lost a lot i don't even know if my microphone's picking up because i'm holding a paper in front of it but we'll find <laughs> out no i can hear you pretty well um you know what we need to do is we need to have a podcast we need to like find a meeting point out in some wooded area start a campfire cook some food up and then just turn the pod on and just well problem with that's going to be the wi-fi <laughs> you go to the middle of nowhere how are you gonna we'd have to record on something something different i don't know Just use your phones yeah we'll figure something out oh here's Voice here's a good it. <laughs> sorry i'm 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 interrupting with another breaking no, news let's hear it. item yes um so this is from january 28th 2008 this was like two days before np died uh i think it was a few days before he died yeah he died on the 30th of 2008 oh, okay okay and he comes up in this letter so that's why i'm Uh-oh. prefacing that so dear family in christ <laughs> already Ugh. already so Ugh. personal <laughs> how are you i am fine oh <laughs> shut up shut up i did it too <laughs> <laughs> yeah we have today and tomorrow off. Today is Dean of Studies Day, since St. Thomas Aquinas' feast day is today. Father Alvaro was with Nuestro Padre the other day, and Nuestro Padre told him to give us a day off. So Father Alvaro called yesterday, and Father David chose Tuesday. We also went skiing on Friday, so this is a five-day weekend. This morning we played, uh, yeah, okay, whatever. Who cares? Isn't that a four-day weekend? Get one day off. <laughs> <laughs> no, we, Friday, we had Monday and Tuesday off, probably. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. 
I think so. I don't know. Or I just was stupid. I don't know. Who knows? <laughs> I love it. <laughs> but I, I don't know what this was, but I said someone very special is coming on January 30th, Wednesday. Father Justin announced that he may be able to, to quote unquote, change the way we live at ICUS. It might be a really rich guy or dot, dot, dot. I don't know. In any case, I reemphasizing January 30th, we'll have to sit at the father's table with him. Hmm. Quote unquote, someone. We'll have to. It doesn't sound like you were too keen on it. No, I hated, I hated my birthday. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I hated was... my birthday too. I didn't, I didn't like sitting up there. Sorry, Father David. It was awkward. Did I tell you I skipped my birthday one year? I think I skipped mine too. And then the next day, I didn't tell David anybody. Was, Father David was like, "The fuck." He didn't say the fuck. He was like, <laughs> <laughs> he was like, <laughs> "I wish your birthday did. yesterday." And I was like, "Yeah, it's my birthday yesterday." So and he's like, "Well, you got to sit at the bar table today, then." I was like, "Oh, okay." A card pass. <laughs> yeah. No oh, thanks, but that's, whatever. That's super weird. It, like, well, there I'm was so... something else in your letter that stuck out to me. I can't remember now though. But that's the um, the Nuestra Padre shit was really weird. Give that us was a, really weird. Y- y'all can have a day off two days before I'm gone. Take a day he was off. On his dying, his his death yeah. wish was that we had a day off. I don't even. Think I think really... he maybe thought that that could undo the damage he'd done for years. He's like, if I give him a day off, that kind of like makes up for all the shit I did. <laughs> maybe they'll he... forget about it. <laughs> do you think he even gave us a day off or it was just Father Alvaro saying he's going to die? They're, Let's just give gonna, him a day they're off. They're going to need to take a day off before they go. Because they're about to get hit with some news. <laughs> <laughs> no, but Father Alvaro, <laughs> Father Alvaro, and I didn't remember this. Uh, I read this in a book recently. Uh, shout out Father Thomas Berg. I read his Hurting in the Catholic, what's it called? I forget. Um, Father Alvaro said he said something like he's he's in heaven now with the saints like he's celebrating like he he was he was playing it off like oh yeah he's in heaven <laughs> he's definitely there like <laughs> he didn't even he didn't even say like hey guys pump breaks on the sainthood thing like he was he no, was he, still he in was it going for it he yeah. was going and for it's it. a win it yeah I appreciate I just, that about him the commitment the commitment there is amazing committed to it yeah <laughs> despite all the counter evidence still went for it he was committed to the bit <laughs> i actually heard one person tell me even if i found out with a certainty that christianity was false i would still believe it i was like okay love that for you i don't i don't get it <laughs> Wait, you mean you're logical? Like you think logically? No, I mean, I don't. <laughs> if you if you can prove that it doesn't make sense, right? Wouldn't you have to just say, "Okay, cut my losses"? Apparently, apparently, you don't have to ever say that. Apparently, apparently not. Holy, yeah. Holy. <laughs> Maybe on the co-founders, we bleep everything out from now on. Mm-mm. No, fuck that. <laughs> no, <laughs> it's easy to do, but not that easy. I'm not putting we, real effort. Into we just podcast. need to get the technology the Legion had during movies. <laughs> <laughs> Our whole podcast would be cut. Yeah. <laughs> um, I do miss movie night in the Legion, though. I think like it's like anything else. If you repress yourself from anything for a long time, doing that thing becomes that much more exciting. Mm-hmm. So like movie night for us was just oh you, I was so pumped for it every time is like going to that conference room you don't know what movie's gonna be on and it was usually pretty good movies I mean I'm much they were okay Heart, Patriot I mean <laughs> better than bad. better than Ica yeah yeah <laughs> as we learned <laughs> yeah a little bit better better than that we had we could've, had real could have watched some comedies some. Some dramas could have been nice to toss in the mix, but you know, just straight up war movies and the passion is okay too. Whatever. I think comedies are hard to find clean ones that would. You would think Billy Madison or something. Well, no, I don't, I don't think, think that would. Fun. No, I don't no, there's think tits so. in there. Yeah, never mind. Yeah. Little TNA. Little yeah, TNA. that's part of the plot. 
<laughs> no, I don't know. I like the movies. Um, I liked Father Victor's classical music class where he would just. I fell asleep every time. Me too. That's why I liked yeah. it. Yeah, <laughs> it's a dark room, plays classical yeah. music. Like, what else am I going to do? <laughs> and then he would stop it at random times and ask us questions. And his questions were in such broken English that you couldn't understand the question. And yes. you, would, you would give your best answer and he'd be like, no. <laughs> and you'd be like, yeah. oh, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's Tchaikovsky. <laughs> yeah. yeah, like, oh. It's the Fiat Symphony. <laughs> <laughs> like, what? Did I t- <laughs> There was one time I had to go ask him something. And one of my favorite Father Victor memories was going up to that, you know, that uh, wooden hallway, the wooden floor hallway upstairs. And I yeah. walked all the way to his office and he's just blasting classical music. He's sitting in his, back. Like, he's sitting back. He's got his arms folded, his eyes shut. And he's just, you can tell he's just having the time of his life. Yep. <laughs> I didn't even want to disturb him, but yeah, it was crazy. I, I saw him once like that. And I was like, yeah. I'll talk to you later, buddy. I'm not. The legionary life just suited him because he didn't care about any of the rules. So he just kind of (laughs) did whatever he wanted to do all day. His position, (laughs) his position suited him though. It did. He was, he he he, loved teaching. He loved that kind of stuff. If he wasn't Dean of studies, he would have gone crazy. Yeah, I think. Well, he's an intellectual. He was an intellectual. He was really smart, loved teaching. And he would just get funding for things. Yeah. Because when the benefactors would come and sit at the father's table, yeah, he would be he would always be there when the other priests weren't. So I think he probably got to know them better and you know told them about his little side projects. Because he had mm. he had the telescope that was yeah. well over twenty thousand dollars. It had to be expensive. It was very nice. It was a very nice telescope. And then the top field. The top field was incredible. And like those if only all... the benefactors could have pitched in for a little like manual labor, but you know, that's neither here nor there. Yeah. Um, I mean, yeah. It wouldn't have killed him. It wouldn't have killed him to, you know, maybe do that, but maybe not. But, but I think, I think that was one of the reasons why he always had funding for his projects was because he was always at breakfast and dinner or lunch and dinner. Yeah. He was always talking to the benefactors and he had a personality. Squeezing those pennies could... out of him. Yeah. Well, I mean, if they had a lake house as their third house, I wouldn't feel guilty. No, I wouldn't yeah. feel guilty at all. Um, Did I tell you all I saw Jeff Bezos' house, old house in Austin on hmm. Lake Travis? We, we were really one of the yeah. It was it was weird. He had like this weird looking dock for his boat, and like he didn't live there anymore. He's moved away, but he had like goats in the backyard and this like sculpture that wasn't even that cool. They were like, yeah, that sculpture right there's like four million dollars. I was like, and it's like made of a metal that'll never te- deteriorate. And I was like, hmm, could, have, could have done a little better, but yeah, um, yeah. I was like, for being a billionaire, I, I'm kind of unimpressed. Yeah, <laughs> with his choices here, it's all the early money. <laughs> yeah, must be man. Yeah, no, there. Some people shouldn't have money. <laughs> <laughs> I think Jeff Bezos is one of them. Yeah. <laughs> Um, when I was, I was in Maine for the past weekend and yeah, was, my brother-in-law is like a, he's like a plumber. He does HVAC. I think he does, he does a few things. He's very handy and he runs his own company. Um, so he got a call on Friday night to go to this one house on the, on Sugarloaf ski resort. And it was, it's a pretty big house. And the guy was like, look, I just need someone to come and turn off my water and fix, you know, we're having a leak. I just want to get it fixed for the weekend. I'll pay you a thousand dollars extra on top of labor. Just come and check the, you know, like, that's like, okay, I'll do it. I don't care if it's that's Friday night. Cool. Yeah. That's, that's a week's worth of cool. pay. Um, so he, so we went, he was like, do you want to come with me? I'm like, hell yeah. I'm like, let's go. I'm not a plumber. I'll just, <laughs> come along for the ride so we (laughs) got this guy's to do we got this this guy had like a mansion on a ski resort and it was it was a beautiful house unfortunately it was being flooded oh um (laughs) one of the pipes must have froze or something um but we figured i mean it took it took my brother-in-law like 20 minutes to figure out the problem and isolate Mm -hmm. the 
isolate the pipe that was leaking. Um, so I, while while he was doing that, I was I was like walking back and forth and telling him if the leaking was stopping or getting worse. He was in one room turning off pipes, and I was in another room looking at the leak. Um, I kept walking past this one room that had skis in it, but not like a pair of skis. It had like thirty pairs of skis, and Damn. they were all. They were all really good skis. It's not like any of them were under five hundred dollars, probably. And it's just like, dude, why do you have this many skis? I didn't ask that, but he was like, "Do you want to look at the skis?" I'm like, mm, "Yeah, kind of, yeah, a little bit." So yeah, I didn't look at them. Pretty cool. Oh, I'm not gonna say no. I'm not gonna say no. <laughs> must be was, different being rich, man. That kind of must wealthy be. is. Imagine just being like, I'm gonna get fifteen pairs of skis for the different types of snow that I might encounter. Yeah, just every day I pick a different pair of skis. I only come to this. I only come to this mansion three times a year, but I have enough skis <laughs> for every day of the year. Like, <laughs> I don't. I don't get it, man. I don't know. Yeah, that's anyway. That was my money rant. Love it. Love to hear about that. Um, Maine. Mm. What a beautiful place. Yeah. Um. Mm. My my brother in law has uh my or my sister and my brother in law have I think they have like eighty acres of land. Damn. And it's all like wooded and it's very pristine. Um, but they have snowmobile trails throughout. Ooh, nice. And all the neighbors have it. Too. I thought I saw one of your Instagram stories, you were like riding a snowmobile. Yeah, that was pretty cool. That looks pretty fun. It was it was a lot of fun. Yeah. Um, yeah, but all the neighbors have the snowmobile trails too, and they're all connected. Mm -hmm. So they just drive around each other's property and smoke hmm. weed and drink beer together. It's That's like really you, chill. You just drive to someone's house. You're like, hey, we're, we're, are you guys? It was my, <laughs> so it was my birthday and we kept going around to different people's houses and asking for weed and huh. with them because <laughs> my brother-in-law was like, oh, it's his birthday. You know, can you smoke? Happy birthday, man. Oh, thank you. Turn 30. Dirty 30. Yeah, welcome. Dirty 30. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like you had a dirty 30 up there. Oh, dude, it was so much fun. And I, I, I'm i so glad my sister has a house there that I can always crash in. Yeah. Um, unlike my situation where I have a couch. Yeah. And that's yeah. it. Like, they can't come here. <laughs> huh. But lots of fun. Lots of liquor. Oh, yeah. And Maine is just a great place. I mean, I get bored there really quick, but... It sounds like the Midwest of the Northeast. <laughs> yeah. Very friendly folks. Like, oh, come on yeah. over to my house and smoke some weed. It sounds like the Midwest. <laughs> and they all have this weird accent that I've never heard mm. before. Like, it's, it's not Boston. It's like Boston and country. That sounds horrible. I can't, I can't describe it. It sounds horrible. It sounds better than a Boston accent. Okay. Well, that's a pretty low bar. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Boston is the worst accent. <laughs> Shout out to Boston. If you're from Boston, Shout you're out to Boston. To this, I, I doubt we have anyone from Boston listening. I hope to this the Red Sox never win the series again. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Bill Burr, calm down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shut the fuck up, Bill. <laughs> also, some Boston Mark Wahlberg. Um, yeah, Maybe. I think Wahlberg. Who the fuck else? Um, <clears throat> what was that benefactor's name? Remember, we we would always go to Boston. Oh, the one who had the museum. Yeah, well, he didn't have that. He would rent it out. Oh, <laughs> he would rent. He would it. rent out Faneuil Hall. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, he's, he's a pretty That's rich crazy. guy. <laughs> That's insane. And then, he, like, and then we just like, the, the only real memory I have is eating lunch up there. <laughs> yeah. I was always hungry. <laughs> yeah. we He would have a catered lunch. Yes. And we, like, none of us understood how expensive that was, but we just accepted it. And he, he would, served like 80 people. <laughs> he had a catered lunch for 80, 85 to 100 people. <laughs> And he would, and he would just talk to us for like twenty minutes, and we'd be like, "Whoa, 
Dude, there's he something about read. seminarians. Remember there's that? something about seminarians being you, pretentious. Spencer. And can you hear me now? Hello, hello. hello. Oh, you're it's good. my fault. Oh, Sorry. you're good, man. Um, there's something about seminarians being pretentious. There really is because in that experience, like we were just eating that food, like, oh, this could be a better day. And then like another time when I was in diocesan seminary, we rented out like this, or a benefactor rented out this yacht and we were all on it. And like one of the guys like clogged their toilet and we were just <laughs> laughing as the fucking benefactor is spraying it with Febreze. We're like laughing in his face. <laughs> Looking back, I'm like, we were fucking dicks. <laughs> Such pretentious pieces of shit. <laughs> like that's so messed up. I have a nasty toilet clogging story oh let's hear it okay so over here it's why our audience is here yeah and skip skip ahead two minutes if you don't want to hear it yeah but um basically when i was at my sister's house Uh i took a very big poop sure and it stacked like one (laughs) one log stacked on top (laughs) of the other (laughs) and it wouldn't flush (laughs) oh god that sucks so I had to reach in with a paper with a toilet paper. No. And break it. Grab one of them, pull it up a little bit, flush, and then let it go. And then it no. flushed. It all flushed nice. down. I felt so content. So what's the word? Not contaminated. Disgusted. disgusted uh Just defiled. Shameful. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> defiled. Exactly. Shame. <laughs> I've never felt so gross in my life. Like, like after Father hands. David's directives, like that feeling yeah. after directives. It was, it was worse than, conf- than than my worst confession. <laughs> just <laughs> dirty, just dirty. <laughs> telling <laughs> telling a priest that I masturbated and that I was going to hell. Um, yeah. just the worst feeling I've ever had. At the same time, <laughs> I felt like really great because it worked out and I didn't clog the toilet, but. I had this. I, I washed my hands for like five to ten minutes after that because I just felt like it wasn't coming off. I mean, I didn't touch the poop, but I did grab it with toilet paper. Like and you're still was, there. Uh, yeah. It's like grabbing a dog's poop. Like you're still feeling the texture. You still feel stuff. it, and you don't. And yeah. It's like you feel like the water is dirty. Oof. And it's, uh, it was Ugh. anyway. Um. So shout out to my sister for having a toilet that wouldn't flush my. my yeah shout out shout out to her um, i don't know why i decided to tell that but i just i'm glad you to, did it was a vulnerable moment someone. i had to tell yeah. someone i haven't told anyone your yet. therapist isn't going to listen to that that's why you got your friends she would your therapist is like i feel like you're paying me for something different but hmm. what yeah. the co-founders are for i don't pay my <laughs> therapist oh my god no oh, she, does, <laughs> she does it for free i don't know why Okay, let me give me that phone number when you get. This yeah, phone. <laughs> yeah. <give me> that <laughs> phone number. I, just, over. I just dropped one hundred fifty bucks. Like, oh, ridiculous. dude. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I've had therapy for the past three years. I think every other week, almost every other week, consistently, an hour every session, and she still won't charge me. You're like, please let me pay you, and she's like, no, yeah. dude. Yeah, she's like, no, no. Once you make your first million, I'm like, That's she's not like, be no, the pleasure, the pleasure's mine. Yeah, she's like, I'm getting a lot of good material for my book. Because <laughs> <laughs> you are fucked up. <laughs> you are fucked up dude. <laughs> yeah, no. So I don't know. That's Therapy's cool. good though. Yeah, it, it it works a little bit. I've been it going to it for lot. years. I'm still pretty fucked. So. Yeah, I but I guess you I, just get more okay with that. I think every ex legionary needs therapy. Oh yeah, and I think the sooner they realize it, the healthier they are. <laughs> uh, but to all of you who are listening who aren't in therapy, you should go to therapy <laughs> <laughs> because you need it somehow. You're not right. <laughs> You're my my, ther- my therapist was like, "You you ruminate a lot." I was like, "Yeah." Yeah, yeah, I do. I, like, I, I really, yeah. He's like, you, you might want to get on a little Prozac. I was like, I'm, I'll get on that. I'll consult. <laughs> nice. with, I'll consult with my physician. So I'm excited to see how Prozac works. 
dull that old brain of mine for a little bit. Prozac is okay. <laughs> I didn't I didn't like Not it that fave. much. Mm. I think I've taken almost everything now. Sure. Um we keep bouncing around. I'm on Vraylar right now, and I like that. Sounds like a Lord of the Rings character. It does, doesn't it? Yeah. But it's huh. It's little little capsules. Yeah. Um, these little, are the samples blue, blue that I'm, I'm not supposed to have. <laughs> I'm supposed to be paying for a prescription. Uh oh. But the prescription is like a thousand dollars for thirty days. Oof. Without insurance. Sure. So uh I'm still on samples. Yeah, that makes sense. But um mm-hmm. anyway, I don't know. Uh, doing the best you can, bud. Doing the best I can, taking the medication I can, and you know, drinking a little Moscow Mule. We're really all just doing the best we can out here. At the end of the day, man, like That's we really are. Do. It's all you can do, bud. Make the best of this life. <laughs> just fucking go balls to the wall to hit that old grave and call it a night. Yeah. Yeah. Well. I've probably said this before, but a lot of times when I think like, oh, I wish I didn't go to the, join Legion or, oh, I wish I didn't join ICUS. Um, I think that those people, you know, those superiors or that group owned my life for five years. And it was only five years. And I let them own the next 10 years or so of my life afterwards mentally i was still stuck and yeah. and i don't want to let them have any more time it's, I love it's my time now so i don't know just you know kind of move on and start a podcast where we always talk about them seems like a healthier <laughs> option <laughs> oh i love it i love that but yeah that's know. our mission statement right there it's our time now Mm-hmm. we're the co-founders this we're the co-founders buddy um, <laughs> mm-hmm. that is a good name we're not going to tell you who thought of that name because we're going to try and claim it for ourselves that we thought of it <laughs> yes yes but we didn't it was it was a guest who thought of it uh but we're not going to give him credit unless he no wants credit? gives us joins our patreon joins our patreon he'd have to be our first patreon yeah and, the, and it doesn't exist yet, so it'll be a bit of a challenge. It's going to be a real challenge, it. and we don't even know what the pricing structure is going to be. So it might be $20 a month. We'll decide when we see the check, basically. If yeah. We, <laughs> we can give them credit where credit's due. <laughs> and we got to split it three ways, so it better be good. <laughs> yeah, it better be <laughs> enough for a, a Vraylon uh, fucking prescription as well. A Vraylon <laughs> prescription. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh man. What do y'all say we call it a night? Okay. A 30 minute podcast. Yep. I know, I know. We should go the full hour, kind of give people consistency. I just I was just getting y'all's vibes. Vibe okay. checking. Well, before we go, sure. Um, again, if you're new to this podcast and you've only listened to three or four. <laughs> uh please consider uh joining us for an interview uh you know even if you think you don't have anything interesting to add or say you definitely do and we'll pick your brain and find out what it is um it's easy it's fun there are no benefits yet we don't have any money to pay you for it so that's sorry about no, that none I got $150 in my checking right now. I'm not doing oh, well, got, boys. I've got more than that. <laughs> <laughs> not much more. Not much more, but yeah. But more than that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to make it. Please Venmo me. Please fucking. <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to make it to two weeks. Please send us some <laughs> money. <laughs> <laughs> Gas prices are not going down. Thank you, Joe Biden. No. <laughs> Fucking Joe. <laughs> it's his fault. <laughs> as we all know. Um, mm, love that. Okay, so. 
and uh, we need to make sure we we post this everywhere that like we changed our name and stuff like all of our social media and stuff so that's true and if y'all if any listeners want to help us like by sharing our stuff that that might help because we want to make sure people understand we have a new like you know more welcoming tone with our with our shit i mean we're still going to be ourselves but we'll yeah we want to be more welcoming and the artwork is going to change soon yeah we'll figure um, something out I need to. Talk I have an, to artist an artist friend who would be doing. Oh, you do? Yeah, okay. he might. He might be willing. Well, we can spitball, but later, yeah. Yeah. So we're we're we might change the art soon. I mean, I'm I really like the art, but yeah. I also might just make it a. a I think it's amazing art, honestly. I, I still maybe maybe we just have different. Soon. Yeah, maybe we just have different kinds of merch, and that's yeah. okay. Yeah. 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 I so like that. Uh, we're we're thinking out loud here. Um, yeah, we really are. Y'all didn't need to hear all that, to be no, honest. But you didn't. Here we but are. But you know what? We're trying <laughs> to stretch this out to maybe make it forty minutes. Maybe yeah, 40 I'm cool with podcast. that. <laughs> yeah, forty <laughs> minutes. I think forty forty is a good number. We're at thirty five right now. I can add a little music to it and make it thirty seven minutes. Yeah, sure. Um, but I mean, who cares? <laughs> uh, Jacob, listening. Put, Jacob, Jacob, put the hat on. <laughs> I put the hat on. If anyone listening <laughs> is into the graphic design and wants to come up with the logo, be more than willing to pay for it. Yeah, we have, yes. and we also have a few ideas too. So, so we can spip all those at you. And if you don't mm-hmm. want to design any of those and you have your own idea for the co founders, uh, feel free. But I don't think, I don't know if we have anyone who's a designer. Or no. We should be the I only. We call know. ourselves the only founders. <laughs> the only. <All> right. <laughs> <laughs> it goes right back to where we were with the cooks for Christ, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well. Um. Yeah. So we're old habits die yeah. hard. Old habits die hard. Yeah. We can't. Oh, yeah. Oh boy. Yeah, yeah. Oh boy, well, this has been fun. This has been a good. <laughs> this has been a good podcast. <laughs> and um, if anybody's got some letters from home they want to anonymously send us or something too, like yeah. letters you, you letters you sent your family, and we won't read your name out. You know, just send it to us, and we'll um, <laughs> you got like some good material you you put in your journal or, or something like yeah or if time. you have a med- meditation journal that you want <laughs> to share journal. Uh, <laughs> letter to father david team balance i yeah, don't know how anyone we our, our letters to father david are gone he had those we never got those back he probably reads them every night before bed he probably still reads them <laughs> um because they're probably i wonder how many doozies he got <laughs> just i wonder because I never wrote anything substantial. Can't stop thinking about masturbating. <laughs> Help, I'm horny. <laughs> uh, I still remember him explaining nocturnal emission. I do me. too. That sounds like a thing he said. He and yeah, just what a funny man. Anyway. I, I hope I hope he's listening. <laughs> I do too. Love you, Father David. <laughs> yeah, but he wouldn't get that sense from the last <laughs> episode where you were like, I hope he dies of COVID. <laughs> I was just playing. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was a visual bit. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Okay, I'll upload this to YouTube then. For the full oh, experience. Sweet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What, follow right. our only founders. <laughs> follow our only founders. We're we're on we're on TikTok, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> we actually are on TikTok. We are. We on have TikTok. to change our TikTok name too now, huh? Ah, damn it! Oh, I didn't we think do. about that. All our handles need to be changed. Yeah. Well, hey, not the first time. True. Won't be the last. Well, it might be the last. Might be. Hopefully, it's the last time. Yeah, we'll see. But all right. Well, that makes this forty. <laughs> Four minutes long. <laughs> On that note, this has been the co-founders. Uh-huh.